Right, the next routine I'm going to show on the True Point 300 is the missing line routine. We use this routine to also measure height measurements or spans. But this routine I'm going to show you is another way of taking a height measurement using a two point missing line routine. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the unit. I press the function button and I'm going to navigate over to the missing line icon. If you have a question about the icon, you hit the question mark. It'll show you a diagram of the routine. If you accept it, go ahead and press the equal sign and establishes the missing line uh, routine. Since I'm outside, I will not be able to see the laser pointer as my aiming device. I'm going to use the camera as my, lazing, as my uh, aiming device. I use the up and down arrows to, to zoom in or zoom out. I want to tap once to zoom in one time. Now this is a two point height routine. Uh, it's going to establish a distance, an angle to my first point, and then I'm going to do another point, the second shot, distance, and angle, and it calculates the distances between those two points. The first, the first I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angle to the base of the pole, press the fire button to activate the laser rangefinder. Uh, you can tell that with the, the crosshairs on the screen is red. I press the fire button. It gets a distance, P1, and it gets a distance and an angle to the base of the pole. Now I'm going to press the fire button for shot number two. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up, I'm still using the uh, camera as the viewfinder. I'm going to aim right to the top of the pole. I'm going to use the LAA 300 to find adjust right onto the, the top. Press the fire button. It gets P2, the distance, and it calculates a distance. This is another way of doing a quick height routine. Do a screen capture for documentation purposes, but this is a, our missing line, our two point shot missing line on the True Point 300. And that was a missing line, the two shot missing line routine. Uh, but it gave me just one value. There might be other values you need. You might need to know the uh, slope distance between the two points or horizontal distance or the vertical distance between those two points that we just took. I'm gonna show you how you can get all those different values and not just this one. It's still using the uh, missing line routine in the unit. But at this time, as you can see, I've got a leveling I need to do. I need to level the sensors. I'm gonna level this encoder and tilt sensor to, so I can get more values out of the unit itself. I go ahead and press the, the level, and this time on the top, I go through a self-calibration. First one is leveling the unit. And now I've got to rotate it 90 degrees. The beep says I'm all right. All right. I get a check mark. Then I do the next routine. Rotate it. Doesn't want to stop. Also has all the indicators on here to show you which direction you need to go for, le for calibrating the level. I get another check mark and the unit's level. I'm going to know this because up on top of the, up in the status bar, my le little bubble level turned green. When it's not level, it's red. So now it is green. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through the missing line routine that I just showed you. I'm going to go ahead and do point one. I've activated the camera. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to the base of the, base of the pole. Press the fire button to activate the laser range finder. The crosshair turns red. Press the fire button again to take the measurement. And I get my first measurement. Press the fire button to move on to the shot number two. I'm going to aim to the top of the pole. Again, utilizing the camera on board as my viewfinder. Take a measurement. I've got that the measurement. Now, as you can see, I want to do a screenshot real quick to capture this for documentation purposes. But as you can see on the screen, I've got a vertical distance, I've got my inclination value, a slope distance between the two shots, and my horizontal distance value of the, of the, the distance between those two measurements. So once I've leveled the unit or calibrated the unit itself, I get more values out of my 2D missing line. 
not just only heights that we can do this, we can also do for spans. If I need a distance between two remote points, I can do that. I just want to show you a different way of doing a height measurement with the 2D missing line routine.